Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening in my Rosado, my Hello Transportation. I promise you guys that I'm going to tell you the video that I did, uh, that I cannot upload it. So I'm going to take it direct from my GoPro because I cannot download the program. I cannot do nothing. I've been even uh, called. Uh, I was trying to set up the another app so I can go on my uh, tablet and go for it. I even called GoPro and uh, they say they're going to call me in five minutes. Man, been two hours already. So I call, I cannot log on it. I trying to get on live and uh, I couldn't get on live on uh, YouTube. I cannot uh, do much of the thing. And right now I got the video and I hope I can I can download it out of here. Let me see if I press the video. I gonna guy you see the video. Yeah, I showed you a preview on the on this violin. I bought this violin very cheap. But when I put them on the table, the arm, which is not the best arm, is is all uh, differently and it's very very thick. Uh, it's not uh, correctly, and it was just uh, come out without doing any type of uh, force on it. It just uh, come out of it. That is not a problem. I got uh, the way to fix it. I got a way to. Uh, I don't know if I may sharp this arm. I may just glue it in and try to uh, to hide it the way it was. But it is, it is a very cheap violin. It's not even have a good vibration on the, on the box here. And uh, it was very cheap. And uh, yeah, I took advantage of the price. But yes, for anyone that want to have something that, that can use it for learning or for doing noise, yeah, it is a good one. You can see the termination, they are Oligor termination in here, and uh, this part is bad, uh, it's plastic, I guess, yeah, it is plastic, I probably get a, a wood one to see if, uh, if I can uh, have a better thing, a better sound on this uh, violin, the, the, the tail knob is uh, loose there, it's not even, it's not even tied to it, so it is a lot of things that, uh, yeah, maybe I can put them to sound a little bit better of what it was, I would try to, but yeah, it's gonna take more time than what I thought, so yeah, I got the way that I, uh, I, you see, I have two violins that I already start making, and uh, I stopped the project because yeah, it was still cool. I have few projects here. I got a violin that I have to already start repairing, and uh, yes. If you see that arm, I'm gonna show you something. You see this one? I already started, but I have to stop because the, the glue would not glue with the cold. So, you could see this arm. This is the arm from that other violin. You can look at the, the height of this arm from here. Look at this one. I may probably, uh, I'm not sure. I may probably refine it, you know, and, uh, and do it the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to think about it. And uh, actually, I'm going to keep working on this one as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. I have an arm that I start making in here for my project. And it's just, you know, I haven't finished because I have to stop, like I say to you guys. That uh, it takes some time, take a while. I don't want to glue anything with the cold weather, otherwise they will not... They would not glue. So let's see if I can work in this violin now and uh, at least glue that arm back the way it is and uh, trying to, to put them back together. 
Let's see what happens. Let me clean this thing out here. Getting that old glue out of there. Guys, I got all, all type of tools in here to work on this, so don't worry about it. I just uh, trying to clean a little bit.
shape whatever the thing it is. Let's see what they hide in here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it seems to be about good, but yeah, it is very bad wood. This wood is not even the wood that you should be using for a violin. Yeah. Let me put some glue and start gluing on it. Then we will do whatever need we need to put them back together. And uh, even the, the fret thread board is ugly and uh, I don't think it have the correct shape. So I'm gonna measure in a little bit, see what what I have there. But you know these violins that they make in shape today, yeah, it's good for making noise or, or have somebody that that may learn. And if they take good care of the violin, even that they don't sound very good, they can uh, do the job for learning. So uh, let's see if this thing wants to open. Yeah, he did open. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I did open it up and uh, let's see if I can put some glue and uh, starting to glue it out. This will take a little bit more time and more the space because I just don't want to to do anything that I have to wait now for 24 hours until this glue is <coughs> set up. And uh, okay, I using cold, cold uh, glue, and actually I have this glue proof that uh, it would glue. I glue my guitar with that that type of glue a long time ago, and my guitar is still is still glue. He haven't go out of out of the out of the, the place where I put him in. And uh, yes guy, I just put a very thin glue and uh, this is not a glue that you want to have forever, but I made sure that the glue that I put here it will stay there and uh, it won't come off. Uh, I'm gonna put glue only on one side. I don't put glue on, on both sides just in case that we have to open it up again. We'll be able to work it out and open it up again. So let me put a little glue on the side here that it was not very, very, very good on the other side. So we can 
and work it out. And uh, tomorrow, for sure, for sure, I be I be doing the rest of uh, the job that I have to do on this violin. But yes, it is it is very very bad. That yeah, it looks very good because. Uh, because of the of the color they gave him, but it is it's a very cheap violin, uh, and actually I can see on the inside, and it think that it come from a piece of uh, plywood. I don't want to open and try, but yes, I can uh, always clamp it out. on the back so it would not damage the paint on the other side so let me put a piece of wood I can hide it on, on the place. that nice so we're gonna give 24 hours so 
Okay, guys, uh, this is the video. I don't know if the audio is going to be very uh, low, but uh, this is what it is. I try. This is my GoPro. This camera right now, you can fry a chicken on it. And uh, yes, I call GoPro as soon as I, uh, I got that camera and I found that it was getting warm. It was getting the battery down. And actually, I haven't been able to use the camera. And actually, I have a video on here when I push the camera. And uh, I said that I'm going to add a camera for, for my streamings. And I haven't been able to do it. Okay. I'm not able to put the videos out of the camera to my phone. I'm not able to put the videos on, on, on my computer because the camera is not allowing me. I will do another video after that. I just want you guys to see this video. I'm going to try to upload it now on my phone, in one of my phone, and see if it goes. And I'm sorry for the way that I have to uh, upload it, but I have no other choice. I'm sorry. And I hope that you guys, if you like it, just give it a thumb up. If this channel is for you, I uh, encourage to subscribe because I got multiple things, especially I'm going to go against uh, GoPro. I'm going to do a video of that because it's a loss of respect of the people. This is not free. This costs a lot of money. And I pay over $500 for that uh, camera. And I have a camera sitting there and I cannot use. So I'm working on my violin. You see the violin that I just, uh, you see this assemble? It's assembled already. I did a video a while ago. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if the channel is for you, welcome. If the channel is not for you, of course, don't, don't subscribe. I don't want to see some people that they're just going to come here and subscribe and then unsubscribe. I don't want that. If you like it, just uh, give me a thumb up. I would request a thumb up because that will allow me to, uh, to go to many other different places. And uh, that's uh, what uh, we are looking for. And uh, guys, I see you in my next video that will come this afternoon. Thank you.